about four years in DTH, but it is where I had my life-changing injury. The Theater of Harlem has one of the best lecture demonstrations I've ever witnessed. It is so thorough and complete, and the company goes everywhere. We do them, we've done them in South Africa, Asia, all over the world. In one section, there are three women and three men who have to do a line of a diagonal for the men, and the ladies are in a straight line. The first woman jumps, grand jeté, she's caught around the waist and contracts. The next one, a little bit further, to show the range of jumping power that we have. And I was always the second girl, which is a little stutter, because it's not quite big enough for the jump that I had, and it's not a little bit enough space that I can just take one step and go. And my partner was not ready for me. At nine o'clock in the morning, I did grand jeté to a two meter tall man, and as he put his arm out to catch me, my front leg hit him here, and he tried to go over, but he didn't. And so my leg went into my pelvis, and I flew backwards, and I landed on L5. I think it was T7 or 6, and also on my neck. So I hit in three places and slid across the New York State Theater stage. And I laid on the floor going, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to be pretty when you stand up. I couldn't feel anything because I was so shocked. The MC said, okay, dancers, let's do that again. So I had to go back. I went back and I tried again and I felt the fear, like any dancer when you have an accident. And he sent us back again. And at that point, all I could do was send knives out of my eyes to him to say, get me off stage. I can't be here anymore. Something's wrong and I feel like I'm bleeding. So we did it. I phoned it in, as we say. My partner was shaking. He was so upset. I felt so badly for him. It was an accident. Got off the stage and I kept dancing. I had a premiere. I didn't want to miss it. I didn't realize the extent of my injury. No one told Mr. Mitchell what happened to me. So I continued to dance. I went, it took me three days to get a doctor's appointment. And finally, when I got to the doctor, he listened to the wrong thing that I said, which was, I'm worried for my job. And so he signed off and allowed me to continue dancing and just gave me anti-inflammatories to deal with the situation. After three years of this, I was crooked. It looked like I had scoliosa. I had lost almost all of the power in my right leg and could barely walk, never mind dance. And I finally went, it's time to stop. This isn't working. I don't want to be 40 and be in a wheelchair. So I called the studio and asked if Mr. Mitchell would come in. Some days he wouldn't come in. He came in. He met me and I told him and he was very surprised. It's like, they didn't tell you, that's when I found out. They never told him what happened to me. So he never understood and that's why I saw later, he was angry with me that my body couldn't do certain things but he didn't know why. There was a reason for it. So I begged him, please let me have six months and I promise you I will rebuild my body and I will come back better. And it's what I did. I spent six months, I had to talk about that thing, but six months, three days a week in physical therapy and three days a week in gyrotonic. And I learned so much in that time. I felt like the old TV show, The Six Million Dollar Woman, we're gonna rebuild her, get her strong again. Because I was so determined, it's like, okay, I was 33 years old looking at the end of my career, and you know, the young dancers are there and they're, you're sweating because they're coming and they can do things and your body's broken and your soul is a bit broken. Everything was a bit broken. But gyrotonic changed it. It changed my perspective. All of this movement of spiraling and natural breath to make movement happen freed me from everything that was locked. The physical therapy gave me the strength to support that which I had lost. And so when I returned, everybody went, you're taller. 
you're, what, what, but they couldn't believe it. I rebuilt everything. And at that point began my research of going, okay, how do you make all of these things that you're learning in gyrotonic work for you in the ballet class when you were just working for your pure clean technique? And how can you then transfer it into a classical ballet? It's much easier to translate gyrotonic into modern dance. When I first entered, most of the teachers and dancers were from Martha Graham, not the ballet dancers. There were some around, but I've watched and I just, I've always had the gift that my eyes understand things. I'm an extremely observant person. Sometimes it'll take me a moment to process. I have to go away for a few days and then I can come back and I'll have it for you. And people don't understand that about me. Sometimes I'm slower because I really want to dot the I and cross the T like we've spoken of and be sure of what I'm doing. Gyrotonic taught me to breathe and relax in movement and allow my body to tell me where it needed support instead of me imposing what I thought it should be. And then I had the best time with my body, the best time with my dancing that I found the last three years of my career. I had many outer body moments on stage where the minute I hit the stage and I hit the light, I was not feeling anything of me. I know I was there and stuff was going on, but I just wasn't there. It was being one with everything. And I achieved that because I was able to bring myself to a calm place to go, you know what, Leslie? Ballet is wonderful. Dancing is wonderful. But it's about you now and what you're bringing and what you put in. And this is what you've been waiting for your whole life is to get on that stage and just throw it all away and just be. There's, there was no counting. There was no... I could see my partner, I knew where he was, but I just, I tell you, I would just sit there going, I don't feel anything, I'm not in my body, it's so amazing. And I loved it and went, darn, I'm sorry I'm getting older because I could really go deeper in this vague, in this way. So as I continue,